We all know Chrome is a fast and secure browser, yet it can be even faster and even more secure. The problem is that what works for you might not necessarily work for them. But worry not, dear friend, as we'll show you exactly where you need to look and what you need to change in order to have a better browsing experience when using Google's Chrome. I'm Alex with Windows Report, and today we'll be showing you seven Chrome settings they don't want you to know about. Let's start by opening Settings, System. Here, we'll disable continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. I don't know about you, but I like my closed apps to stay closed. Disabling this feature will release precious system resources and stop Chrome from nosing around when it's not supposed to. Now, for the rest of the video, we'll be tinkering with flags. Flags are Chrome experimental features that may or may not end up in future releases. But worry not, the flags we'll be using are pretty safe. Okay, first things first, let's open the Flags tab. As you probably noticed, there is no Flags button in Chrome. So in order to get there, we'll need to type Chrome, column, double slash flags, and press Enter. Now, we'll search for parallel downloading and enable it. Once enabled, this feature will try to open multiple download streams every time you download a file. The idea is to bypass the speed restrictions that some sites might try to enforce. Next up, let's search for lazy image loading and enable that as well. Despite its name, there's nothing lazy about this feature. When you visit a page, Chrome will simply wait for pictures to come into view before trying to load them. This results in both faster load times and less traffic for those of you on a limited plan. This next flag is more of a convenience hack, if you will. Look for Omnibox UI Show Suggestion Favicons and enable it. Now, instead of generic icons, you can get the URL's actual logo. This makes it much easier to find websites when you don't remember the URL, but remember the logo. This is great for those of you who rely on visual memory. Okay. Back to speed. Our next stop will be the experimental quick protocol. This is a general purpose transport layer protocol. You know what that is, right? Neither do I. Well, what I do know is that it will make your internet faster by doing more with less. So why not enable it? Okay, our next stop, enable reader mode. Once enabled, you can click the button on the outer edge of the Omni bar to turn off all distractions and just focus on the text. Some browsers, such as Safari, already offer this feature, but Google is a bit coy about enabling it by default, since it makes all those beautiful Google ads disappear. Hey, wait, isn't, isn't that a Anyway, now for our last secret setting, secure DNS lookups. Once enabled, Chrome will always try to force a secure connection regardless of the site you visit. Not all websites have this feature, and for obvious reasons, but at least now you'll know which sites to avoid. But wait, there's more. Press Shift Escape to open Chrome's Task Manager. This is the easiest way to find that one tab, plugin, service, or extension that is taking up all the system resources. Oh, and one last thing. Let's say Chrome crashed or you just installed an extension and you have to restart, but you don't want to lose all those tabs. What do you do then? Simply type Chrome colon double slash restart and press enter. Boom. Chrome restarts and all your tabs are right where you left them. Okay, okay, okay. That was it. My job here is done. But before I go, I must remind you to keep a tab on windowsreport.com for that error-free tech life and keep an eye out for more relevant videos on our channel. See you next time.